you're here because you have tinea versicolor. It is a problem that occurs as a fungal infection of the skin. It is considered as a very embarrassing and irritating problem. The skin starts to lose its natural color and turns to white patches on different parts of the body. This type of fungus has the capacity to interfere with your pigment or called melanin production, causing these white spots on your chest, back, and limbs. So very quickly, if this is your first time on my channel, my name is Maria, and welcome to Aglaya Aesthetics Online, where I share, teach everything to do with health and wellness, beauty care, skin care, in a balanced way. Give me comments below, and if you do not agree with me, please do so, yes, respectfully. And if you have not subscribed yet, please consider it. Click on the notif notification bell so you will not miss any of my educational tutorials. To be sure that you are diagnosed properly, I would advise you to go to your doctor or dermatologist to make sure you are getting the accurate diagnosis before starting any kind of treatment. Now, before taking any topical medication or oral prescription that you can take from or get from your doctor or dermatologist, I advise to do this as a last resort because any kind of medication is taxing and damaging your liver and potentially causing more internal chaos. Now, if you want to do it very quickly, you can get over-the-counter chemicals that you could apply on the affected area, such as Nizoral, which is a shampoo, or Salsum Blue, which is also a shampoo, and they both are antifungal. When you are in the shower, apply on the affected area, let's say on your legs or on your arms, and leave it on for about five minutes, and then rinse it. Um, do this every night or every second night for the next three to six months. However, this antifungal shampoo is very dehydrating to the skin and it will unbalance the acid mantle of the skin. So this is not my first choice of treatment. One of the main reasons for the infection is the inability of the body immune system to fight off this infection. Other possible reasons are improper care of the skin, keeping the skin wet for a long period of time, environmental changes, humidity, etc. The symptoms of tinea not only get sometimes those little white dots, but sometimes could cause like skin peeling, itching, sometimes some redness, rashes, and uh, flakiness. This fungus usually grows after the use of antibiotics, cortisone creams, being a diabetic, having PCOS, uh, ovarian syndrome, pregnancy, and even malnutrition can all set up for getting this condition. It is not as intense as the white spot condition called vitiligo or vitiligo, but it does look similar. In reality, however, it is an internal problem. Individuals having this condition, 80% chance for coming back because they do not fix the microflora in the gut. So, very quickly, if you're just uh, putting products on the outside, the mat doesn't matter what you're doing, if you're not taking care of the gut internally, which the gut is the second brain, it will come back. So, inner gut, which is a second brain, we have uh, friendly bacteria, friendly yeast, friendly candida, and even friendly fungus, and they all work in a balanced way, in harmony. When you lose some of these strains, 
or some unbalancing, you start developing unfriendly fungus, unfriendly bacteria that will start growing not only internally, but also externally in different parts of the body and of course the skin. If you have this condition, you need to start building up internally at the same time externally. So let's discuss the internal issue first and then externally. You need to start eating a lot of good food with high level of good bacteria, such as sauerkraut, fermented vegetables, natural yogurt, kefir, and of course a good quality probiotic and I will have a link below. And reduce the intake of carbs, preservatives, and processed foods. So that will help you internally. Externally, here are some remedies that you can apply. You can choose all of them, you can alternate them, you can find out which one is better for you. But remember, with natural remedies, it takes time, patience, and consistency. So the first one that I love are essential oils. And the best essential oils to fight fungus is oregano oil, tea tree oil, thyme oil, uh, grapefruit seed oil are very good to control fungus. You can use one or all four, get a tablespoon of coconut oil and put three or four drops in the mixture and mix them very, very well. The coconut oil is not only as a carrier, it is very powerful at tackling the problem of tinea versicolor, thanks to the antimicrobial and anti-inflammatory nature of this coconut oil. So mix everything very well, rub in the area of the problem, and I recommend to do this at nighttime before you go to bed, so rub it nicely. Because if you do it at nighttime, it stays overnight and it will give a chance to work. I would also advise to wear loose clothing like pajamas and long sleeves so you don't get all these oils all over the place and they stay confined in one area. Very, very good. Do this every night. Number two is a lemon juice is used to treat many uh, skin disorders and you can use it to treat tinea versicolor as well. The natural properties of lemon helps in treating the fungal infection and reduce the appearance of these white patches caused due the problem. The lemon not only helps in this condition, it is also very good to treat uh, scars and blemishes like acne on your skin. So, dilute the lemon juice in proportion of 1 to 2 with water, then apply on the affected area and leave it until the next day. Do this uh, once uh, every second night. You must not forget to dilute the lemon juice because it is uh, quite rough on the skin if you apply it like 100% concentration. Another, uh, number three, another remedy is apple cider vinegar. Uh, do test uh, the apple cider vinegar first to see uh, if you get any reaction because apple cider vinegar is very acidic in nature. So you could irritate a sensitive skin. Dilute about a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar in a cup of warm water and then apply the solution to the affected area. There is no need to wash it away. Uh, you could just uh, leave it on overnight and uh, next day you can uh, take a bath and shower. Do this every second night. Number four, aloe vera is another remedy. It is uh, one of the best known remedies to treat any kind of skin ailments. It is called the plant of immortality because it gives promising, promising results on tinea versicolor to treat it. It will also boost up the skin's natural immune defenses so that the skin can fight off allergies or infections on its own. 
You could apply some fresh aloe gel taken from an aloe plant or if you don't have access to aloe plant you can purchase aloe gel or aloe vera cream and apply it once or twice a day on your skin. Number five, the last remedy that is very easy and very promising is silver spray. It's a mineral solution in a liquid suspension of silver in distilled water. Really, really tiny microscopic particles. It's a natural antiviral, antifungal, and antibiotic, and it's anti-inflammatory. I use silver spray to treat any skin condition from sunburn to breakouts in addition to take it internally when I'm not feeling very well or if I feel that I'm coming down with a cold I spray some silver up my nose it protects me it gives me uh, strength to my immune system now that you know what to do with the Tinea Versicolor you can choose either chemicals or natural remedies which one would you choose of course it's your choice However, when you're using natural remedies, you are helping your body to fight the ailment. You're helping your body to strengthen the immune system so it's able to fight anything that is coming to the body. When you're using chemicals, sometimes you might cause havoc or chaos in the body. Um, yes, you're dealing with a problem, but are you really helping the cause? Are you helping the body to get strengthened, the immune system to fight the problem? Of course, it is your choice. However, you need to work on your gut because ultimately, it's a loss of internal microbes that set up this condition. So, make the right choice for yourself. Until the next time, take care.